Hello SPCNs! For today's experiment, we're going to talk about the qualitative test for proteins. The goal of this experiment is to identify the amino acid present in our sample. Certain functional groups in proteins can react to produce characteristically colored products. The color intensity of the product formed by a particular group varies among proteins in proportion to the number of reacting functional or free groups present and their accessibility to the reagent. The experiment discussed in this video is provided as a resource for San Pedro College senior high school students. Please do not do this experiment at home. We have five tests for the test for proteins. The xanthropoteic test, the glyoxylic acid test, the burette test, ninhydrin test, and Sakaguchi test. Before we proceed with the different tests for proteins, we need to prepare the albumin solution. The albumin solution is prepared by beating egg white in 5 volumes of water. So we need to separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Let's start with the xanthoproteic test. These are the materials and reagents for xanthoproteic test. Hot plate. Graduated cylinder. Beaker with albumin solution. Test tube. Test tube rack. Concentrated ammonium hydroxide Concentrated nitric acid Droppers And label tapes and markers Using the graduated cylinder, place 1 ml of egg albumin solution in a test tube and add 5 drops of concentrated nitric acid using the droppers. Afterwards, heat and observe the color change. Let it cool and add 5 drops of ammonium hydroxide. Next, we have the glyoxylic test. These are the materials and reagents for glyoxylic test. Graduated cylinder. Beaker with albumin solution. Test tube Test tube rack Concentrated sulfuric acid Hopkins coal reagent Droppers And label tapes and markers Using the graduated cylinder, get 1 ml of egg albumin solution and 1 ml of Hopkins coal reagent.
mix the two solutions. Incline the tube and allow 10 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to flow to the side of the tube to form a layer of acid beneath the protein mixture. What is the color produced at the point of contact of the two liquids? Next, we have the burette test. These are the materials and reagents for the burette test. Graduated cylinder. Beaker with albumin solution. Test tube. Test tube rack. 0.5% copper sulfate. 10% sodium hydroxide Droppers and Label tapes and markers Using the graduated cylinder, get 1 ml of egg albumin solution and 1 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide solution Mix the two solutions. Afterwards, add 1 ml of 0.5% copper sulfate solution and mix thoroughly. Next, we have the ninhydrin test. These are the materials and reagents for ninhydrin test. Hot plate. Graduated cylinder. Beaker with albumin solution. Test tube. Test tube rack. Ninhydrin solution Droppers Label tapes and markers Using the graduated cylinder, get 1 ml of egg albumin solution and place it in a clean test tube. Afterwards, add 1 ml of freshly prepared 0.1% aqueous solution of ninhydrin
heat to boiling using the hot plate. Afterwards, allow to cool and observe the color produced. And lastly, the Sakaguchi test. These are the materials and reagents for Sakaguchi test. Graduated cylinder. Beaker with albumin solution. Test tube. Test tube rack. 10% sodium hydroxide. Sodium hypobromide Mollish reagent Droppers And label tapes and markers Using a graduated cylinder, add 1 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide dilution to 1 ml of egg albumin solution Add 6 drops of dilute alcoholic naphthol solution or mollish reagent. Mix well and add 10 drops of sodium hypobromide solution. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you on our next experiment.